so this is the scene that I'm going to show okay so some cows some trees you know trees in the distance so the first step will be to make our thumbnail sketch all right keeping this composition I'm going to do my thumbnail again this is just an estimate okay so I'm gonna do a small thumbnail sketch so thumbnail sketches can be really good to understand you know like how light or dark you're going to draw certain things in your eventual painting so that's what we're gonna do this is kind of let's see the field is about here then you have the distant trees and then right here you have the tree the big tree Slightly bigger. So that's the tree. Here you have a little bit of, I think, some more got trees in the back. So this is a path where the tree is on. This needs to be slightly bigger. Again, it needs to be very simple. There's some shadow here and the shadow of the tree here. Okay. As I said, thumbnail is very good for us to understand what is the meat of the composition, what needs to be the darks and the lights. the focus so judging by how dark this tree is our focus is definitely this like angular tree that's kind of slicing a third of the composition then you have this is very light okay so i'm not gonna be this is just in the background the green Just the green, blue, green in the far, and then you have the green in the front. This is also background, and then right here you have some shadow, 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 shadow. Let's make this slightly bigger so it makes sense. Yeah, and then here we're going to put in our cow shapes. There's the distant ones. Again, this is an approximation. Remember, we're not going for like hyper-realism detail. Of course, you can do that. But for us, that's not the main goal here. Okay, and then, you know, we are going to add these greens of the trees. You see, I'm, I'm doing, I'm also drawing how I would I'm drawing how I would paint, okay? So here, if that makes sense. I'm, I'm kind of scrubbing in these trees and branches. Because they're very soft. Okay? So that's kind of our drawing. 
obviously there's going to be a little bit of change here and there, but that's how it should be. So for this, you can also create a value scale. Value scale is how dark or light something is. This kind of will help you understand when you're painting, right? Like how dark or light things need to be. Like what is the darkest dark in this painting? It's definitely this tree, right? And they a little bit of the cow shapes in the front, not as much in the back because darkness would also allow us to have an emphasis on what is important in our painting. Okay, and so then you have like something lighter than this. This could be here. And then here is like much lighter. This can be this here. And then here can be the sky. All right, there's a little bit of shade, sh like shading happening where it's a little bit of blue here and then lighter here. But for this, sorry, for the sake of our, uh, the simplicity of our thumbnail, light is light, then the, this one. Then we'll have these bushes and maybe the trees above and then the darkest darks are this and the shadow and then the front cow. So now we're going to draw out the bigger picture. I'm keeping things very light. I'm going to measure out in my image, right, like how much the width and the height are different. So it's kind of like a square with a little bit more on the side about like that. So that's a good estimation of the framing. As you can see here, I taped the sides and obviously my angle is going to be a little skewed because I'm working like this and it's not completely parallel with the camera, but I'll show you the, um, how it looks when it's vertical. Sorry, too much noise. Okay, so now I'm going to just quickly sketch it out, show you what I'm doing. That's the picture. This is what you're seeing from the viewfinder, basically. So I'm just going, this is, the sky is a little more than a half here. So I measured this and then I doubled it. And then I see it's a little more. Okay, so same, come here. And then if this is the half, that's the half. And this uh, field is going to be slightly lower than the half. By doing that, when I double it, you have this much space, right? Let me check. A little more. Double it. That's better. So half is here, that's the half, so it should be here, maybe a little here, yeah, there. Be easy if on your picture you can indicate where the half is and then um, you can do the edit. Again, this is so close to half, as I did it here, it doesn't matter. you can just keep it at half too. Alright, so now that this is there, we're going to draw the again, see where the half is here. About here, 
natin. And then the road is somewhere here. And you have an angle like this. And then you have the tree starting here. And I'm kind of doing the angle by just placing my pencil like this and then like that and just kind of drawing in the tree. And then I'm going to place in my shadow slightly, and this is where the shadow of the tree branches and leaves are of this tree. And then I can draw out some of the cows again, very basic. And I'm kind of squinting so I don't overdo, just to see the shapes. Shadows. Sorry, forgot how my own tripod works. I can just do a little bit of a detail. Again, nothing too deep, okay? My tree, those are some of my cows. Got another one here. Got some here. Just some cows happening there. And then we have our and then there's more 
entries here. Again, you can be very detailed or you can just draw it with your brushes. There's no you know requirements. Just important to have some fun, all right? So here is some tree. Here is some, you know, tree shrubs, tree shrubs here. Tree shrubs, 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 yeah. So that's kind of my composition, okay? So now I'm gonna just start painting it. First step comes the wash. I'm just kind of, there's a bit of paint here. And then I just have to clean my brush because you see it's already green. This is from a painting before. So I retained some of that green. Very important you have a clean brush so you're not putting in a wash you don't want. See, that's a better it's transparent now. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the sky first. Try and get any erasers out of the way. Right. Just going to go in with a simple wash and then I can kind of also use the space here to see how light or dark I'm going. I'm going over. So there's a little bit of lighter sky here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just clean up my brush and this has no paint on it and I'm just going to rub over this. So you can see that there's a little bit of tone over at the top and I can enhance that tone by dipping it back into my paint and just kind of put in some tone over at the top but keep the bottom pretty light so there you get like a little bit of a striped situation that's happening in your drawing okay next we're gonna go in here this is a green obviously but as i said we in nature we don't have pure greens as much as we have you know duller greens so here i'm dulling my green with a yellow ochre because it looks quite light brownish and I'm gonna go on top you can also use a smaller brush if you want uh, but I really like working with the big brushes that way it can you know cover more ground it can be easier to work with I see a little bit brown here, like it's like a brownie, so I'm going to add a little bit of this on top of my green. It's barely going to show, okay? You can add a little bit more if you are adventurous. I'm adding some of my darker brown. I'm going to just add it here. Okay. As it dries, I can kind of darken or lighten it if I choose. Here, there's a little bit of the brown as well, but it's less green and more in, on the brown side. So I'm going to use this, um, what is it, burnt sienna and a little bit of ochre. Maybe a little bit of green because I, don't, I want to dull it. Then I'm going to just paint it over here. Then I can go to the next dark area, which is going to be over here. So I have to be careful because this is kind of wet and this is kind of wet. So if I'm adding something over here and I have a really loaded brush, it might start to, you know, go bleed into one area or another. It's not necessarily bad. And you also have a tissue, so, you know, you can see what that happens. When that happens, what to do. Let's try. So I'm going to wash out my brush. And I'm, I have, at the bottom of my palette, this. 
So if I need to clean, I will. And then I'm going to add a little bit of a bluey green. That's the shrubs in the back. All right, so let's see. Too green should be a little bit more blue so I'm gonna maybe wipe out some of it and re-add okay yeah, that's too blue but that might be fine so it's always in the distance there's more um, it's cooler than it is in the as you go in the front now if I squint I'm seeing that this green can go a little darker so I'm gonna add some more green here I'm gonna go a little darker maybe a little bit more yellow ochre okay so that I think makes a little bit of sense here i'm just adding a little bit of ochre in different areas so that's good so now we can wait a little bit sometimes you can use a blow dryer to do this part um yeah i feel like this is a little bit of a reddish brown so i'm just glazing a little bit of red barely yeah so I can kind of like let this dry a little bit before going on a uh, with a little bit of dry brushing. So, you know, if you're working um, outside, you can just wait for five minutes in the sun. It'll just dry really quickly. If you have, if you're working indoors, you can use a blow dryer and, you know, kind of restart. So I'm going to give it like five minutes under the fan and then we're going to come back to it. Okay.